Local Democratic leaders are calling out Project 2025. I'm a Green Bay Neighborhood reporter, Andrew Amuzu. Democrats say the project's agenda raises concern on fundamental rights. We have to stand up against that. On Wednesday, State Assembly candidate Ahmad Rivera Wagner and Democratic leaders addressed Project 2025. It would raise costs for Wisconsinites, take away our fundamental freedoms, and threaten our democratic ideals. Also called the 2025 Presidential Transition Project, Project 2025 was created by conservative group the Heritage Foundation. According to its website, the project's pillars are a policy agenda, collecting conservative personnel, political training, and a 180-day playbook for the next conservative administration. Democrats criticize its stance on abortion, Social Security, and Medicare, and overall executive branch overhauls. But I'm here today because I know that stories like mine show that Trump's anti-abortion agenda has real-life consequences. Adriana Pokola shared her personal story. It's about everything that entails a pregnancy-capable person's right to health care. President Joe Biden's age was also mentioned. He might be an old guy. He might uh, have had some issues in the debate. But just look at the record. Look at the record of what he's done in his administration. President Trump has attempted to distance himself from the project. I reached out to local Republicans to get their take. 8th District Congressional Candidate Andre Jacques said in a statement, quote, For the liberals to pretend a think tank's ideas are more significant than the party's own adopted platforms is absurd, end quote. I also reached out to 8th District Congressional Candidates Tony Weed and Roger Roth, but have yet to hear back from them. As for the Brown County Democrats, they tell me that they are reminding the community that, quote, disagreement shouldn't be dangerous after the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump. In Green Bay, Andrew Muzu, NBC 26.